<laughs> this is all again. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to be talking about? Well, that is basically it's all over for the Republican Party running uh -huh. for the presidency. How can you say something like that? Because every Republican candidate has this idea, we have to win over the Democrats to get elected. We must appeal Why? to the Democrats. Well, because people like Charles Kreithammer said that you have to be neutral. You cannot attack the president. Or you got the other point. The president is too likable. Even though the people don't like his policies, they like him so much. You can't say anything bad. Well, he got elected attacking the Republicans. See, he got elected attacking George Bush, and he's still attacking George Bush. I mean, here's part of it is Obama got elected on the anything but George Bush vote. Yeah. Right? And, okay, and people are afraid to attack him because of racism. Now, any candidate could win on the anything but Obama vote. Oh, yeah. Anyone can win, unless you're a woman in the Republican Party, because there are, I'm going to put it this way, that a porn star would have a better, have the same chance as Michelle Malk and, and Sarah Palin of winning the Republican nomination, you know, because they do not like women in the Republican Party in the running for president. I mean, we talked, there's so many people, I, I was a... I was in, I'm from the, the you know, I was 60 to 50 years ago, but I'm from that period. I was his colleagues then, folks, you know, in our 60s. And they, I, they basically, they just said the Republicans go, oink, oink. Well, you know, part of it is, is this should be a gimme for the Republicans for the next election. But, However. Yeah, I can win the election against a man. However, they, you know how they see the, do you always see the Democrats form, you know, form a circle and shoot themselves? Yeah. The Republicans have to get in the race. Well, they got to form the circle. They won't do it. Oh. No, and it's very, okay, Obama cannot run on issues. He can't run on what he's done as But he president. could say he got bin Laden. But he could say he got bin Laden, and then I'd say prove it. But he got bin Laden? Prove it. <laughs> but he had a picture that showed he got bin Laden. N no. He showed some members of Congress that there was a picture of a man that he says has been locked. Why should I believe anything he says? You mean like his birth certificate? Yeah, I, I, I happen to be, I, my degrees, my basic degrees in journalism, folks. I can go back, most of the people don't know who Edward R. Merle was. He was one of my instructors. You know, and Edward R. Merle said, you only, he said, it's not first-hand information, don't trust it. If you didn't see that, oh. the president did not see it. The people that did the shooting do not know for a fact, 100% fact, that the guy that was shot was bin Laden. They were told it was bin Laden. Mm -hmm. You could have picked up some... Uh, okay, or I'm going to go back to a movie um, with an actor named Robert Newton, which I worked on. Oh, God, I worked on so many bad movies. He was playing Blackbeard the Pirate. What Newton did was he got somebody that looked like him basically curled up his beard and then told the guy just to say, follow me, follow me. And then they killed the guy that they thought, they thought he was Blackbeard because he, he looked like Ben Laden, he looked like Blackbeard, Blackbeard. he acted like Ben Laden, like, like, like a Blackbeard. Blackbeard. And so, how, how, you know, and I've done a lot of movies like that, you know, the counterfeit, uh, you, know, the, you know, the counterfeit agent basically where they just said, how about the man that never was? I worked on that one too. Mm -hmm. You know, where basically, if you say it so, and you can't prove it's not, there's nobody can prove that the guy that was killed was Bin Laden. You can't prove he's not Bin Laden. So therefore, so, you simply counter, when I got Bin Laden, they say, prove it. And they yeah. say, well, I'm the president of the United States. Not legally. You know? Yeah, but they would say he was sworn in. You were sworn in, but you weren't sworn in legally. Mm. Now, why do you say he's not swearing? Because in? he uh, he didn't he did the, it was an improper swearing in. And he had to do the swearing in in a, in private. Oh. He was not sworn in pro re properly at at the ceremony. And why was he not sworn in properly? Because he's a bloody Muslim. Didn't want to be seen by the Muslims putting his hand on the Bible. Ah. Uh, so it's simple. I mean, all those conflicts of interest get no, you every but, time. No, no, but you can basically um, okay. I'm, I'm old, we'll put it flat, I'm old enough to be his father, basically. I don't have to have a teleprompter. I don't need, I, I mean, my mind is still, until 7 o'clock at night, my mind is really sharp. And then I, I hit the wall and I drink lots of caffeine and I'm working again. But um, I get up in the morning, I don't have to have a teleprompter to go talk to a bunch of kindergartners. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need a teleprompter to talk to people. Our president cannot speak without a teleprompter. I mean, they say, 
the his thing on. We've got to set the. Uh, we have to set the uh, the uh, the land, you know, for peace back to the 67 borders. They said that uh, uh, that was not on the teleprompter. He just said that because he gets off teleprompter. When he's off teleprompter, he says stupid things. Mm -hmm. This man has said so many stupid things. I mean, today this is. We have put two million people to work since the first of this year, which by my standards is 400,000 people a month. And the government's own records say they've not, there's not been more than 195,000 people put together, put to work in any month. Mm -hmm. And two of the months basically didn't hit 40,000 people. But we, I, you know, they, they can't add, the guy basically, you know, I don't think there's anybody in his administration that can add to 10 without taking their shoes off. Mm. But um, he has, he can't, it does not, Ronald Reagan, okay, I'm going to put, we're going to put it this way. Bill Clinton could eat him up in a debate. He'd go on the floor, I mean, uh, he, he would basically not have debates because he couldn't debate Bill Clinton without a teleprompter. And, the, and he wouldn't have a friendly audience to listen to him because they'd be Clinton supporters. He, you know, he, John McCain basically won every debate he had with uh, with Obama. But Obama, Obama looked cool. No, mm -hmm. Obama, it, Obama is not Sidney Poitier. Sidney Poitier is cool. Mm -hmm. Harry Belafonte is cool. Frank Sinatra and, uh, and, and Steve McQueen, they were cool. Obama is not cool. He's just a, he's a, uh, a uh, college professor that doesn't know the first thing about our Constitution. He's a constitutional law professor that couldn't tell you what's in the Constitution if his life depended upon it. Mm -hmm. You want to know that, uh, and, uh, and he teaches law, um, you know that there's no law saying it's illegal for the people to come into this country illegal. I think it's Section 8, uh, Section 8, 1000 something of the, uh, of our, of our, our codes say it's illegal, but he doesn't know it. He doesn't know, he has no comprehension that a lot of what's going on is a crime. He has no comprehension, you know, uh, they won't dare bring up the fact the War Powers Act because if they bring it up, he'd have to admit what's the War Powers Act. Mm -hmm. And the Republicans won't do it because he's black. Well, I'm going to tell you people something very simple. She's Asian. I am. She's Asian. I could be Irish. You no, know, but she is Asian. <laughs> she is Asian. The President of the United States is no more black than I am Caucasian. Yeah, but you look Caucasian. I look Caucasian, but that doesn't mean I'm a Caucasian. The President of the United States, his family is, is more white than he is black. Mm. There are more white members of his family than there are black members of his family. But so, he looks black? But he's, he, he wouldn't list him as black because he isn't oh. black. I mean, at the very best, he's a, you know, he'd be a Creole which is a mixture of the different bloods, or a mestizo, which is a mixture of different bloods, or a mulatto, which is different bloods. My mother and my grandmother on my mother's side of the family are American Indians. My great-grandmother on my father's side is American Indian. And my family has been inter-American, we tell people, we've been inter-American, okay, the mother was the Germans thought, the bloody Germans all thought that Indian girls were exotic. So since the 1700s, they've been taking Indian girls back to Germany with them. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, that's how the English side, the English side married into the, into the Indian pit too. Oh, is that what they did? I don't know. The Europeans are strange. They really have I guess most of them have never seen Asian girls. They had Indian girls and they were exotic, so they, they, they'd haul them back. And then because they didn't live too long over there, they'd marry some Caucasian girl to raise the children. Are you serious? Yeah, a lot of the Indian, I mean, Pocahontas died when she went back to England. Oh, because oh, they're not used to the environment? They're not used to the environment. Mm -hmm. So they didn't live long, and their lifespan was not that long to begin with. But the men always outlived the women. Today, women outlived the men. But uh, the president, is, uh, you, you're going to pull that race thing on me? I don't think so. I'm they could try it. They could try it. I mean, what it is, uh, you know, the, well, they're afraid the president of the United States also. He has a truth, he has a truth czar, an internet truth czar, who within seconds of you spreading malicious gossip, first of all, the truth is never a gossip. It is the truth. You know, it's the, it, 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 as in the words of Mark Twain, the last thing that anyone is going to actually believe is the truth. I mean, I, I hear people, you know, by the hour. I mean, yeah, I mean, they won't talk. I mean, 
everybody knew <laughs> two million jobs were not created in, since January. It wasn't sure done. Is. But you can't get the Democrats that we have created it. And if they, if you do put them in a the corner, well, you know, Clarence Thomas's wife got eight hundred thousand dollars, you know, in in in, in lobby fees for, uh, you know, uh, go attacking the great health care plan. We need to discuss that. No, we're asking you about the two million jobs. Clarence Thomas should excuse himself from what asking is, you about the jobs. What does that have to do with anything? Anthony Weiner's got a problem with naked picture. Oh, okay, let's talk about that. But they won't talk about, they won't answer the questions. They will not because they can't answer the questions. Uh, we have uh, more. Well, and you, if you've watched the different talk shows, you know that they've got their talking points because they say the same responses. On every single show, the Democrats will put the same things up. And they say, well, the Republicans do it too. No, they don't because the Republicans are, the Republicans are, a, are, are a party of a zillion different individuals. They have no central huh. core. If they did, you couldn't do <laughs> Then you hear Republican talking points. Yeah. I know. See, part of it is... In a day when they should have a gimme, yeah. um, they're, they they're, they're still trying to formulate. And you're going, what? Yeah. Do they have a leading candidate? No. No, they're not going to have a leading candidate because, um, I mean, I was listening to Michael Reagan say, you got to understand, you're not going to win the Democratic vote. You're a Republican. Go for the Republican vote. <laughs> Not, not, not. And then not, Charles not. Trotheimer, who is a Mel Chavez pig, he hates women candidates. Thank God does this man hate Sarah Palin. She's destroying the party. You know, the woman in, in, the woman in, in Delaware, she took the party down with her. Mm -hmm. oh, no.